What's the deal? What's the deal? How you motherfucking feel? You already know who it is. The one and only Auntie Pooh. You already know what it is. I hope y'all follow my backup page, Auntie Pooh with the number three. You feel me? And so I'll get unsuspended because y'all know my other page is still up. So I'm here to get y'all the details because y'all been wanting to know what happened, what went on, how they broke up, and different shit like that. So let me go on and fill y'all in. Okay, so G Baby get out the hospital, whatever. G Baby face is like fucked up because that coffee was hot as fuck. So it burns her skin off of her face, right? Y'all know y'all gotta ignore the background because I'm at work. And y'all know these the Pooh Mafia lashes. Stop playing. But anyway, oh, they loud as fuck. I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop because I don't know how loud my video is right now. Okay, so anyway, so G Baby get out of jail. Her face is fucked up. My auntie heal her back up, do what she supposed to do as a woman. They planning a wedding. You get what I'm saying? So it's all good. Now remind you, G Baby and my nigga is still in business. You get what I'm saying? So they going out of town, they doing their thing. It's not it ain't been no problem, but I don't know. Some just ain't sitting right with me about all this going out of town. You know what I'm saying? So Mm, I'm already starting to pull away without saying something. You know what I'm saying? I'm already back, back, backing it up. You know what I'm talking about? I'm already backing it up because something just ain't sitting right with me. I don't know what it is. I can't prove nothing, but I ain't stupid. I knew. You feel me? So, they doing, they getting ready for their wedding. So, they getting married in Vegas. So, we all getting ready to go to Vegas. So, before, it's like maybe a few days before the wedding or whatever. My mama, my mama come down there and was like, so you really inviting Lori or whatever? And she was like, yeah, that's my friend. Like, and G Baby was like, what? Like, didn't I tell you she can't come? And my auntie was like, like I said, that's my friend. She can come. G Baby like, you got me fucked up. Like, bitch, no, she can't motherfucking come. Period. No, she can't. You feel me? So they going back and forth, back and forth, arguing and fussing. My auntie, like, you got me fucked up. She can come. Or whatever. So. Finally, they quiet. All right. So, my auntie, like, she can come. So, they going back and forth like that. So, G-Baby, like, oh, well, she come, then my my baby daddy gonna come. You feel me? My auntie, like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't never tripping on your baby daddy. Like, it is what it is. Right? So, boom. They doing their thing. So, they arguing. So, my nigga, like, I'm gonna run to the hood. I'm like, oh, okay, he like, you wanna go? I'm like, nah, you go ahead and go. He's like, all right, he leave, go to his head, or whatever, but G-Baby go with him. Ain't nothing out the normal now, cause they got business, you feel me? So it is what it is. They come back, we chilling or whatever. Boom, it's like the night before we leave to go to Vegas for the wedding, his phone ringing. I'm like, okay, it's normal for us to pick up each other's phone. So I picked the phone up. I'm like, hello? It's a bitch like, can I speak to Booty Boot? I'm like, you got the wrong number. She like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. But something ain't sitting right about this bitch asking for the wrong name. You feel me? I'm like, somebody just called your phone. He like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, and I repeat the number. And he like, okay. I'm like, yeah, they said they had the wrong number, but I don't believe that shit. You feel me? Straight up. I don't believe that shit. So, he like, nah, it's the wrong number. All right. All right, no problem. So, we leave and go to Vegas. When we get to Vegas, my auntie them ain't got no marriage license. So, they did all this shit and got married, but it ain't legal. You feel me? So, it is what it is. We partying. We having fun. We everybody getting fucked up. We having a good time. Now, it's the next day. Nigga, phone ringing again. Like, damn. I'm like, your phone ringing. He like, answer it. I answer the phone. I'm like, hello? She like, can I speak? I said, look, check this out. 
If you want to speak to my nigga, just say that, bitch. Stop calling here acting like you got the wrong motherfucking number. I'm like, bitch, do you want to speak to him? She don't say nothing. I'm like, here, get the phone. I'm like, because clearly it's a bitch you fuck with. I'm like, because the bitch keep calling and talking about, can she speak to Tommy? Bitch, ain't no motherfucking Tommy over here. And it's the same motherfucking number. Oh, she just keep calling your number by accident. He like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, get the motherfucking phone. So he at the phone. He like, hello. She like, hello. He like, what's up? She like, oh, nothing. I was trying to see, did you get, did you, do you got some of that? And um, he was like, why you just didn't say, ask for me? He like, why you just didn't, like, why you starting shit? She like, oh, I ain't trying to start nothing. I just want to see if you, if you had some of that or whatever. He like, man, yeah, when I get back in town. She like, oh, you out of town? But it was the way she said it, right? I'm like, yeah, he could fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no dummy. I ain't no dummy. I ain't stupid. So, right then and there, I'm already cool. So now we gaming on the shit. He like, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm good. So now, G baby, other homeboys there and shit. Her crew there. You get what I'm saying? I'm over there with them. I'm over there socializing, talking with them. What's the deal? How y'all doing? You feel me? I'm in these motherfucking spaces because at this point, you didn't try to play me and I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate it by no motherfucking way, form, or fact. So, God damn. So, I get home. You get what I'm saying? I get home. At this time, I'm getting my shit out of my auntie house because I already know I'm done. You get what I'm saying? I'm done. I don't give a fuck. I'm over it. So, we get home. I go take my shit upstairs. He looking. He like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. I'm like, you ready to go to your mama house? He like, why well, I'm going to my mama house? I'm like, look, check this out, bro. Ain't no point of us playing no more games. I'm like, whatever you're doing, you're getting sloppy with it. The bitch done call here twice. All that her number all through your phone. I'm like, I don't go through your shit. I'm like, so I'm good. He like, man, you don't even know what's going on. It ain't like that. I'm like, look, bro. Let me take you back to your hood. He like, all right, cuz on Drake, Gray Street, drop me off. Say no more. If that wasn't the second confirmation I needed, nigga, there it was. So, I ain't giving a fuck. You get what I'm saying? Life goes motherfucking on. So, I go drop him off. I leave. When I leave, his mama called me. She like, what's wrong with you? He said, you tripping. Whoa, whoa. I said, man, your son fucking with somebody. I don't know who it is. I was like, the bitch number is 915. Wooty bam, wooty bam. I'm like, nigga, and I'm like, I ain't stupid. I'm like, and the bitch sound older. She like, what's the number again? I said, I repeat the number. She like, what? I'm like, yeah. She like, I'm going to call you back. The next day, he called me like, man, you got all this shit cracking on everything. This ain't even smooth. Ooh, I'm just out here trying to get my money. Bitch is trying to pay me. You ain't trying to pay me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, what? I'm confused. What the fuck is he talking about? His mama didn't went over there and woke her homegirl out. Because clearly, the number I repeated was her homegirl number, who's her motherfucking age. And she felt like, bitch, you didn't have no motherfucking reason to be fucking with my motherfucking son. Right? Come to find out, the bitch is pregnant. He didn't got this old bitch pregnant. Remind you, at this time, this bitch is all the way close to 40. Okay? We barely 18, 19. Get what I'm saying? So, okay. His mama wasn't feeling it. She was like, Pooh, I'm sorry. You know, you still go forever be my daughter. I don't appreciate this shit. Now this bitch trying to have a baby by my son. Like, his mama was not feeling this shit at all. His mama to this day still don't like this bitch. You understand? So I don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with him at all. Because you're going to go fuck this old ass bitch and get her pregnant. You weird ass nigga. Oh, oh, because she was giving you her kids money. You get what I'm saying? Oh, weird ass, dumb ass old bitch. Like, bitch, fuck you. You get what I'm saying? Like, bitch, nah. And she was around us. Like, when we be at his mama's house and all that kind of shit. Like, you a whole rat ass, old ass bitch. Like, why are you even messing with niggas that young? And then after him, turn around and had a baby by a nigga that was a minor. So she been, but, but, remind y'all, she been fucking my nigga since he was 15. 
Since he was 15 motherfucking years old. Like, bitch, for real. This what we doing? This what the fuck we doing? So that's why I don't fuck with him no more. When y'all ask, what happened with you and your boo? That's what happened. That's why I don't fuck with him. What happened with my auntie and G, baby? They never really was legally married. My auntie still was fucking with Lori. So G, baby, called my auntie and Lori together. Good morning. G, baby, called my auntie and Lori together again and got her shit and left. She wasn't, she wasn't playing with my auntie no more. The dog went with my dude. Have a great one, sweetie. Have a good day. And um, the dog ended up passing away um, oh, years ago. And that was the only time me and him talked. He called me like, the dog getting sick. I went over there. You know, we took pictures with the dog or whatever. Then we got the dog put down. And then he tried to say he was sorry, all that. I don't give a fuck about none of that. So that's how that ended. Um, oh boy, that my auntie used to fuck with. He never fucked with her again. He he was doing his own thing. You feel me? He was doing his own thing. He ain't had time for all that drama. My uncle, my uncle still do him to this day. My auntie, me and her don't. We ain't talking right now. We don't get along. For y'all that got to see, she came to my house, showed her motherfucking ass at like six o'clock in the morning, drunk tripping like she do. And I wasn't having that shit. So we don't talk no more. Um, I had that video up for my subscribers, but somebody screen recorded it. And like literally was trying to like find my auntie, was um, inboxing people on my Facebook like, oh, y'all know she putting y'all auntie out here. Like it was so weird. It's like, I can't even give y'all content. You know what I'm saying? I was showing y'all what certain people look like so y'all can put it together. like. Oh, but for y'all that saw it, now when y'all hear me talk about the story, y'all can visualize how my auntie is because y'all seen her in action with me. You know what I mean? So that's basically what happened. So that was really the ins and outs about everything. Lori's still with her baby daddy. Um, my auntie doing her, you know what I'm saying, to this day. Hell, that's basically it. Me and my Grape Street, we cool. You know what I'm saying? We're cordial. We see each other a lot. Because he be on the motorcycle scene, you know what I mean? But other than that, like, we don't we don't hang out. I still, I guess I'm still kind of mad. Like, years later, I just feel some type of way because I just feel like we was too cool. And I ain't somebody he had to lie to, you know what I mean? So I feel some type of way about that. I just feel, I just feel played, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we were cool. Well, I gotta fix my lash. Like, we were cool. You know what I mean? Like, bro, come on, man. Come on, bro. Don't do that. You know what I mean? You ain't got to do me like that. Like, come on, bro. We went through too much for you to, like, just fuck with a rat bitch because you up. Uh, because you and G-Baby finally got some business going. Now you just, oh, you think you the man. You think you the man. Now you hate this bitch in real life. You get what I'm saying? You got to think. We 39 now. That bitch all the way, like, 60-something. Close to 70. Get what I'm saying? Hi, sweetie. Sorry, I'm, I'm a guest. Do I just... No, go ahead. Keep your guest pass, okay? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, bro. Like, me and you, like, all this shit we been through, my nigga, and this what you do? You don't go fuck with the older bitch. And then, like, me and her bumped heads. Like, we did try to work it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I guess I was trying to be funny. Like, bitch, I'm going to be around for this baby shower and all that. Just to... You feel me? And me and the mama was like this. So, you know, it was just a little petty shit. But in the end, I just didn't respect his mood because I wasn't somebody he had to lie to. Like, you ain't got to lie to me. Just do you. Like, tell me, though. You could have been like, babe, I ain't going to lie. You know, I've been getting a little money. I'm feeling myself. Got older bitches hollering at me. But you know what? Older bitches been doing that shit. That shit ain't nothing new. That shit ain't nothing new. That's why I be saying, like, nigga, you molested him. I don't give a fuck if he did and you know wanna fuck you bitch you molested him you grown as fuck you didn't have no business messing with a minor you get what i'm saying that shit just gonna be cool but it is what it is though that was the you know the rest of the story y'all i hope y'all enjoyed it got your little details or whatever if i miss something let me know i'll throw it up there all right love y'all pull my feet we out and hey, we gonna finish the um how my homegirl got 25 to life. I'm going to put up a clip of that today, too.
Hope y'all had a good day. Don't forget to follow the new on C Pool 3 page on TikTok. Love y'all.